Hey, good evening. This is Ken at Tortoise Capital. Uh, I wanted to just uh, demonstrate a tactical trading layout that I've been working on here for a couple hours today. So this is a uh, tactical screen looking at daily trade bars or daily bars. Uh, I use it as a combination of uh, swing trade frames and turbo intraday trading frames. So I want to compile a bunch of useful figures in an auto framer or the A-framer uh, for my purposes. So I'm going to cover the columns first. You'll notice that I've included the MACD four seasons categories that I care about, monthly spring, monthly summer, weekly spring, weekly summer, daily winter, spring, summer, and fall with the color codes. Um, that's a, just a, a quick way of sorting by style. So if I was interested in daily winter, um, I could look at these and I could look at Simon Property Group and say, yeah, uh, that's pretty much uh, in the winter. That's horrible. Uh, daily spring. Uh, these are slightly better. Uh, you can see they recovered somewhat. Uh, daily summer. These are going to be the ones that are uh, amazing. Uh, so relative to the rest of the market, that's pretty amazing. Uh, daily move in clean energy and in square space. That's as good as it gets. And then daily fall, these are the ones that are uh, that have been good but are starting to roll over. So Alcoa, you can see that has been great and has rolled over. Uh, so that gives me a particular style of dailies uh, based on max CD uh, season. So my other tactical columns of interest are, first I wanna know where the price is. Uh, the mechanical entry is going to be five cents above the daily high. The mechanical initial stop, the I stop, is going to be five cents below the daily low. Uh, the my risk is going to be high minus low plus 10 cents. Um, my risk divided by three is going to be that um, divided by three. There is a bit of a finesse here that if um, if one ATR is less than the high minus the low, then it's going to choose one ATR as the default risk. So I don't need to take more than one ATR risk on um, a symbol. And what that allows me to do is to be able to use a standard, reasonable uh, daily range risk so if I get really extreme large moves on a day, that doesn't uh, uh, filter me out of possible follow throughs at where I can use just an ATR instead of the full daily range. That is more discussed in the hybrid in the day trading course. Uh, I'm interested in, uh, in what one third of that is. So that's either gonna be one third of an ATR or a third of the daily range with the reasoning being that if it just moves what yesterday's range was and I wanna trade inside that day, yeah, I can use one third of the range as a risk box and then have two thirds of the daily range as my reward. So there's a potential two to one in there. And that gives me some idea of what a minimum risk box might be. The highest high of the last 10 bars, and because I'm on daily charts, this is of the last 10 days, gives me the target for the reward. Uh, then I can take, uh, then I can compute the uh, reward dollars by subtracting the highest high from the mechanical entry. And that gives me the reward dollars that are available on a test of the 10 day high. Uh, the range stat is our particular measure of maximum reasonable intraday moves. Uh, the reward to risk then is computing the reward dollars divided by the risk dollars. And then that gives me something like uh, a rough 
swing reward to risk ratio. See, Alco is not very good. Uh, a lot of them uh, are well underneath uh, what's available because we exceeded the previous 10 day high. Uh, so I'm, what I'm really interested in are those that are uh, better than two to one. So uh, oil, blended commodities, energy treasuries are at the top of that stack. So if I looked over at, uh, at oil, you could see that here was the daily range. Uh, that's the risk box. Uh, the 10 day high is here. So there's an, there's eight of those daily range boxes uh, moving to the top. So that gives me a brute force way of computing relative reward to risk on a large range of symbols that I might be interested in. If I take the range stat, which is the maximum reasonable intraday move and divide it by the, uh, uh, by my risk, uh, then I can come up with uh, a range stat divided by my risk and gives gives me a uh, reward to risk uh, ratio. Uh, the R min 30 and the R min uh, minus three gives me the smallest range. Um, R min 30 gives me the uh, narrowest range of the last 30 days. Uh, R min slash three and R min slash four give me um, the minimum range divided of the last 30 days divided by three and divided by four. Those are also alternatives to computing uh, reward to risk ratios. Um, and then the four seasons uh, of MACD. So if I'm interested in just uh, one day pops divided by a standard risk box, I can sort by this column and oil looks pretty good at 2.8 to one. That's if it were just to break out uh, of the high and then move a range stat after that, then I would be looking at a 2.8 to one. It also has a really good reward to risk ratio on a retest of the 10 day high using the full range box. So in one, uh, one set of two columns, I can be looking at my swing trade uh, risk to reward ratio and by one day pop risk to reward ratios uh, and then tell by inspection where we are in, in the symbology here. Um, so that gives me some insights into uh, how suitable this is for a hybrid uh, fraud. If I wanted to just look at uh, range stat by my risk, I might get some different numbers like XOP turns out to be um, uh, the best one day pop mover given the size of the uh, the tight range compression. So you can see that in the previous 10 days, there have been very large range expansions, but it turns out that Friday was a very narrow range doji. So if that was a one day pause that was not directional and then made a large move in either direction, simply the size of approximately uh, the average range of the last 30 days plus a volatility factor, um, then I would have the best uh, combination of normal volatility and uh, and a compressed setup range, uh, which would give me 3.8 to one. So uh, the whole energy sector is looking pretty good there. Uh, there's um, oil exploration, Devon Energy looks pretty good. Again, you can see the very tight range compression compared to large typical ranges. That becomes a very nice way to play um, uh, a breakout in either direction from outside of the daily range. I can just use the higher the low of the day as the uh, as the entry and then use the full range uh, as the uh, as the risk box. So that's a quick look at how I find um, uh, trades of interest to me and how I quickly use uh, trade station um, to uh, to give me the com uh, the computations and the valuations uh, for my typical set. Now I'm using my what I call my boot camp set and this is one page of the symbols that I typically uh, am interested in on the day, on every day. And these are the ones that uh, we look at in our daily report, the, uh, the printed extract report. But you can actually in TC2000, uh, if I wanted to look at uh, the S&P 500, for example, and just look by uh, reward to risk ratio. Uh, it, let's see, um, Devon Energy is actually pretty high up in that stack. 
uh, DPZ, which I don't know what that is, Domino's Pizza, uh, is looking pretty good uh, on a range step divided by my risk, I should say. If I was looking for um, the greatest move to the highest 10-day, turns out that ExxonMobil really is pretty good, but General Dynamics, um, uh, Clorox, uh, Northrop Grumman, again, you get this kind of range compression plus a large move to the 10 day high. I also like the fact that it is so low when it's stacked that if this fails and breaks through a 10 day low, I have a nice move in either direction. And with the PSARs up top, then uh, my target would be down here around uh, 394. And that's a pretty good move in either direction. So uh, what I really like about the um, uh, reward to risk ratio is that the ones that are extremely high on the move back to the 10 day high also happened to be invested with a large sell off move already that made that so attractive. So if it breaks out of that relatively small range a continuation of that trade to the south is uh, pretty nice. So this is a handy way to find easy uh, symbols to trade in either direction um, with uh, almost the hydraulic style of trading that we teach in the hybrid trading course. So thanks for your kind attention. This is one of uh, 25 uh, layouts that we use in the and have available in the TC2000 uh, bundle that um, does all, your, all the work for you, gives you information independence from our reports um, and is a uh, untiring, error-free administrative assistant, which makes it pretty nice. So thanks very much for your kind attention. We'll see you tomorrow.